Hi, this is Sean Mullery from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo. And what I'm going to cover in this lesson, this will be a very, very short lesson. This is just to discuss the is empty function in um, the linked list program, uh, which I didn't mention at any other stage. I think I mentioned a call to it, but not uh, the actual uh, description of how it works. So is empty suggests that we're asking, is the list empty? And what we want here is either a zero value back to say that that was not true, Okay, so is it empty? If we get a zero back, no, it's not empty. And uh, if we get a non-zero value back, that's to say it is empty. So this is the sort of thing with the double equals that you would normally see in an if statement, but we're actually just sending it back as a number here. So if the start of the list, uh, and again, we don't actually send the, the address of this uh, because we don't want to modify it. We're just sending it itself. Uh, so we won't be modifying it back at base, and that's why we don't send the address of it. But we're checking, is it equal to null? If it's equal to null, it will return a non-zero value um, to say that the uh, the list is indeed empty, uh, because the start is pointed straight to null, and it means there's no items in the list. If, however, it's not equal to null, then it will return a zero value, at which point we will know that the list is not empty and we can then make decisions based on that. So that's all that function does. Um, it's to ask the question, is the list empty or not? If you just put the S, uh, SPTR uh, double equals to null in the middle of your program, it would not be as readable. So it's much nicer to be able to say, is it empty, rather than to say, is the, uh, is the start pointer equal to null, which wouldn't be as obvious to the reader as to what you're doing. They'd figure it out eventually, but uh, it's, it's not as readable. So that's why they have a special function in there just to do that. Okay.